Hello everyone. Welcome back to Coder Stations. And today we are going to talk about how to improve your Android Studio's performance. So let's get right into the video. Okay, the first thing that you can do is updating your Android Studio latest version. At the time of recording this video, it is Koala, which is 2024.1.1. But for you, it might be different. To check that out, you can go to Google and then type in Android Studio Download. Right over here, you can go to Android Studio. You can see that minus Koala and over here it's the same. Right? You have to match these two things: Koala, Koala. If it's matching, yours is the latest version. Okay. So now your Android Studio is up to date. What you can do is you can go to Customize and you can increase the memory size. How you can do that is go to Customize tab and click on All Settings and click on here and then type in Memory. Once you type in Memory, you can see this option over here on the right side, which says the current max heap size of the IDE is 2048. For some computers, it might be 1024. For some, it might be 204 just like mine by default. For the computers which is which has 102 for its maximum heap size, you can set it to 2048. For the people who are having the same as 2048 as me, they can set it to 4096. Once that's done, click on apply. Then it will ask for you to restart the idea ID, but do not do it right now. Now, once you have increased my heap size, what you can do is you can type in smooth scrolling. Once that is done, it will highlight this thing over here and you should disable this. So what is smooth scrolling? Smooth scrolling is basically the text that zooms in, zooms out very smoothly. But this zooming zoom out smoothly is not needed in, in development, right? So we can turn it off. I, I have scrolled down a bit. You can see anti-aliasing, which is basically smoothing of the text once again. But this is not needed because too much smoothing can lead to performance issues. So what you can do is instead of keeping it sub-pixel, you can keep it as grayscale for both of these tabs. For ID and editor, both you can keep it as grayscale. Once that is done, you can click on apply. Then over here, you can close this tab. Now here, you can see plugins. Insert plugins. For example, in Android, in Android Studio, you can develop in several different languages. For example, Java, Kotlin, Flutter. But for example, if I'm using Java as my main language, I do not need Flutter and Dart as my plugins, right? So you can disable them. I can disable these plugins. And then once I disable them, if I go to project, it will ask me to reset my Android Studio. If you have followed everything from the previous few steps, you are ready to start your Android Studio journey at its maximum capacity. But even if after doing all the settings, all the brush optimization that I've given to you, even if your Android Studio runs slowly, what you can do is you can click on Windows, you can type here defragment over here you can see that for me it's a solid state drive for you it might be hard disk or it might be a solid state drive again what you have to do is you have to click on this optimize button which will optimize your drive to its maximum capacity once you have done that you can click on close and then you can start your android Studio journey if i click on flutter app look at the speed at which it opens up it is super fast look at it it opened up very fast because of the all because of all the android studio settings and all the optimizations that we have done so that is it thank you for watching see you the next time bye bye